Hey, 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 everybody. Do you suffer from shiny object syndrome? I can't tell you how many people I've spoken to who say that they suffer from it. And I believe that that is what is stopping you from your growth. It's something that you really need to work on so you can get very clear and not move from one piece of things to another thing to just splitting your focus all over the place. And maybe it's that you're a multitasker and you just think, oh, it's amazing. I'm the best multitasker. It's not necessarily the best thing for you or your business growth. That's what we're talking about today. So stick around. You're listening to Marketing Tips with Melissa podcast. Welcome to Marketing Tips with Melissa podcast. And now your host, Melissa Jakubovic. So if you've been following me on social media, I've been talking a lot about focus lately. A lot of entrepreneurs aren't where they want to be in their business because they suffer from shiny object syndrome. Dun, dun, dun. Does this sound like you? Maybe you download every freebie that you can get your hands on. Or maybe you look for the next big promise that's going to insert whatever it is you're struggling with. Get a lot of clients, lose a lot of weight, make a lot of friends, heal my relationship, whatever it is. But the thing is that if you are all over the place buying course after course and possibly not finishing them or starting them and finishing them but not implementing them or starting to grow a Facebook group and then switching quickly to now grow your Instagram following and then switching to grow your YouTube channel and then launching a challenge and then writing a webinar or whatever else it is that you do, you are dividing up your time and we only have 24 hours in the day and you are dividing up your attention and what that does is it spreads yourself very thin. And all I can say to that is, No wonder nothing is working for you. You have to pick one thing. You have to do it fully and become the master at it and make it your own, have your own spin on it before you move on to anything else. So when it flops, that's when you pick up the pieces, you decide what you can do better, where you're going to improve, what went well, and then guess what? You do it again and again and again until it's solid. And then, and only then, you move on to the next thing. I have a whiteboard in my office where I have it listed into quarters, quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four. And in that, on that whiteboard, I put inside of each quarter what the big projects are for the quarter. The three months that I have, what do I want to accomplish in that time? Just big milestones, not little things like I want to make a bunch of freebies or anything like that. But a big thing, like I want to grow my Facebook group. And that is a big undertaking. It's something that I have to put most of my time and attention into. And I know that I need to be patient. It's not going to happen overnight. I mean, nothing in marketing happens overnight. Marketing always works, but it's playing for the long game. It's changing and tweaking and testing things along the way. It's fixing things and then going back and doing it again. And that never changes. Marketing always works. Marketing and sales have been here since the beginning and they're going to remain here. But if you want that to work and you want it to have a conversion where things actually convert into something that you can do, like have clients that you can coach or have people attend your webinar and maybe join your program like your course or something like that, you have to put your time and attention into it and not just your half-assery. Like your badassery, you need to put all of that in there. So I have that I'm going to grow one social media channel inside of one quarter. And you know what? It usually takes longer than that. It takes two quarters, maybe three quarters. People keep asking me, when are you going to focus on your YouTube channel? When are you going to grow your YouTube channel? I have hundreds of videos on my YouTube channel, but they're mostly my podcasts, which are audio. And YouTube is not an audio platform. It's a visual platform. And I do record videos. I'm guest speaking in several different Facebook groups and on other people's Instagram lives all the time. And part I'm part of telesummits and all those types of things. I go live in my group, spiritualwomenentrepreneurs.com if you haven't joined yet. And I love to go live. And I have all of my business building and mindset kits, which most of which are video and they're edited. And I love it. Luck doesn't exist. 
What you believe about your business is what you will attract. How you feel about receiving money through your services is going to directly influence your sales. Join me for my new program, Client Abundance, where I will teach you how to attract an abundance of new clients. We will be using energy and alignment as well as practical marketing strategy to get you what you want. AbundantStrategy.com slash clients. So they're like, why haven't you done a YouTube channel yet? You're comfortable on video. You do Facebook. You do Instagram reels. But my answer is one thing at a time. I have my focus right now somewhere else. When I have succeeded in growing what I am working on, I will look to YouTube. And actually right now tentatively, and I say tentatively tentatively because I want you to understand that things can change and you are allowed to push things out further. You are allowed to switch things up. You are allowed to change things that you thought you'd do in Q3 and Q4 and switch them around and do the thing in Q4 first before you do the thing in Q3. But tentatively, I have in Q3 of 2022 that I'm going to work on my YouTube channel. And as the year is slowly going by, I recognize that we might need to push that a couple of quarters. And we'll see as we get closer. Because I am working now on growing different channels, different parts of my channels, and that is where my focus is. So if you're trying to grow your email list and you're trying to grow your Facebook following and you're trying to grow your Instagram following and you're trying to grow your Facebook group and you're trying to get as many connections as you can on LinkedIn and you're trying to grow your blog, you're doing too many things and you're writing a course and you're selling a program. It's just too much. So what I want you to understand is one thing at a time. Pick the one thing that excites you so much and go for that. One of my favorite authors, Denise Duffield Thomas, she says, you can only be in one stage of pregnancy at a time. So apply this to your business, to your energy, to your focus, and really stick to one thing. Now, once you grow one channel really, really well, or one marketing vehicle really, really well, you can actually leverage that to grow the other one. So for example, if you have 10,000 people on your email list because you've been working on growing your email list and then you send an email to your list and you say, hey, I just started being active on my YouTube channel. Go subscribe there. Guess how easy it is to get a bunch of subscribers the very first day that you're there because you've already grown one of your channels. So you're emailing now 10,000 people, hey, go like this. A percentage of those people are going to go like that. Why? Because they listen to your call to action. They've been in your world long enough on your email list that you've built a relationship with them. You've hopefully provided enough valuable content that they know that your content is amazing. And now they want to see what other amazing content you can create. So they're going to follow you to the next platform. So if you are trying to grow everything at once, you don't have that leverage. You're starting from zero literally everywhere. So no wonder it's so hard for you and your focus is everywhere. So you're scattered. You've got that shiny object syndrome. What I encourage you to do is make a list of the things that you want to accomplish in the next three months. And then maybe you can make a list of the things you want to accomplish in the next year. Pick out of that list what excites you the most and start with that. Everything else gets backburnered. And once that's on the backburner, you can put all of your focus, time, energy, and attention into that one thing. And when it starts to grow and it starts to work and it starts to give you the success and the results that you're looking for, go back to that list and say, which one of these things, A, excites me the most, and B, that I can use what I've just finished growing as leverage to help me grow that second piece. And that is the way that you're going to grow. This is a really disgusting analogy, but it just came to me. But if you think of chain smoking, if you smoke one cigarette and you put it out and you smoke another cigarette and you put it out and you smoke another cigarette and you put it out, you have cigarette butts all over the place. But if you sit here and you chain smoke, you have one cigarette, you've grown one channel all the way through, and when there's just a little spark left, you light the next cigarette and it ignites and it starts that whole next channel really gross analogy. So sorry about that. But if you have one channel that's doing so well and it's really bringing you everything that you want, now you can use it to ignite the next thing and it's much easier to grow. 
A better analogy, I guess, would have been the torch that gets passed on (laughs) right before the Olympics. But basically, it's fire. You have fire growing over here. Your Instagram is on fire. You're getting so much engagement, so many pieces of conversation that you're starting, so much conversations going on. So many people are following you and sharing your things. You know it's on fire and you're going to take that fire and you're going to light the next torch with it. Hey, go check out this freebie and join my email list. Now you've got your email list growing and that's on fire. And then once that's at a place where you feel comfortable, you're going to pass that torch off You're going to say, I'm going to grow my Pinterest. Hey, go follow me in Pinterest. You see what I'm saying? So focus one thing at a time. I want you to apply this to everything you do and watch how much stronger you become as a business owner. All right. I hope this helps and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for listening to the Marketing Tips with Melissa podcast at www.marketingtipswithmeliss.com. Oh, wait. Before you go, I've got a special invitation for you, so listen up. Join thousands of spiritual women, entrepreneurs, coaches, healers, and business owners in a cozy community to learn effective and aligned strategies to grow and scale your business through organic marketing and so much more. I'm inviting you to join my free community called the Spiritual Women Entrepreneurs to lift one another up in business, spirituality, finances, and emotional support. Visit spiritualwomenentrepreneurs.com. See you on the inside.